Hello, welcome to Maths with J. To simplify this fraction, we hope that we're going to be able to factorise the numerator and the denominator and then find something that will cancel. Now I think I'm going to start by looking at the denominator. So I'm looking at x squared minus 2x minus 8. And obviously we've got to have an x in both brackets. We'll have a plus and a minus, so we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 8 and that have a difference of 2, so that's going to be 2 and 4. And then the sign in front of the 2x is going to be the sign that goes in front of the 4, so that we end up getting minus 4x plus 2x, giving us the minus 2x. And then when we're looking at the numerator, we're expecting that one of the brackets will be the same as one of the brackets in the denominator. But we can sort of have that at the back of our minds. So to get 2x squared we must have 2x and x. And we can see that both signs have got to be negative. And we know that in the bracket that's got a 2x we can't have an even number. Because if we did that whole bracket would have a factor of 2 and therefore the whole of the numerator would have a factor of 2 but we can see that 9x is not an even number so that's why we can't have either 2 or 4 in there. So in fact we know that that's got to be 2x minus 1 and then we'll have to have x minus 4. So we can see that we have indeed got two brackets that are the same so we can divide top and bottom of the fraction by x minus 4 leaving us with 2x minus 1 in the numerator and x plus 2 in the denominator. So we're done. All that you might like to do next is check your answer. So remember that we found that the given fraction is equal to something much simpler for any value of x. So what we want to do is just check that it works for a couple of values of x, some really easy values. So for example, let's see what happens when x is 0. So then when x is 0, the original is going to be 0 minus 0 plus 4, so 4 over 0 minus 0 minus 8, so 4 over minus 8, so that's equal to negative a half. So if we've got the correct working here, then our answer will also give us minus a half. So we've got 2x minus 1 over x plus 2, so when x is 0 that's going to be minus 1 over 2. So we can see that this works for x is 0. We should try another value 2. So let's try x is 1. So in that case the original is going to be 2 minus 9 plus 4 all over 1 minus 2 minus 8. So we've got minus 3 over minus 9. So that would be a third. And hopefully our answer will give us the same value there. So we've got 2 times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 2 and that is also a third. So there's just a couple of checks to show that our answer is likely to be correct. There's no proof there, but it's just checking that for a couple of values of x we have got the right thing happening here. So the answer to the question is that the original fraction simplifies to 2x minus 1 over x plus 2.